All right, so we got our wiring in place here. It's wired up to my 200 amp fuses. Each line has separate fuse. Over here, we're just grounded on. So next, I'm gonna turn the system on, okay? So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm not saying this is how you should do it. But basically, I'm gonna turn on both inverters, right? So the switches are on, there's no power to it yet. And I'm gonna put the power on here, which also, there's no power yet. So it's, now when I turn this guy on, it'll go through its pre-charge cycle and uh, charge this up because it's all connected. So if you had these switches off, it would not do a pre-charge cycle on the inverters and that could be a problem, although these probably have built in. So I should be able to turn this on and let her rip. So here we go, boom. Okay, and no, we got an alarm. Did not like it. Damn. That's not good. Problem. Huh. All right, well, didn't work. All right, guys, so I tried a few times, and one battery cannot start those two inverters. It can start one. Uh, I tried a few different things, but finally ended up turning on one, two, three, almost at the same time. The first one still alarmed out, but the other two ended up starting it, so I just turned that off real quick. Came over here and turned on my battery monitor and the three charge controllers. And right now it seems like it's started up okay. Uh, I went back and I turned on all the batteries. So they're all on, all running, all powering the system. The inverter's off. Second inverter's off. And it's in thinking mode. Let's go to setup. Go to uh, charger setup. All right, and it was, this used to say uh, flooded, so I changed it to custom. I'm not sure this is going to work. All right, custom, and then 55.2, which is a little low. But I want to start a little low, I might stay a little low for absorb. The float is at 54, which is also slightly low. So Maybe good. Equalize 55.2. We're not going to equalize these batteries, you know, equalize lithium. So the eek time is set to 0 0.1. Hopefully that'll work. Get me by. Um, some other stuff in here. But basically now the next step is to turn it on and see if it'll actually work. All right, so I'm going to attempt to turn on the first inverter and we'll see what happens. I hate the sound that makes when it turns on. All right, the first one's on, second one's on too, but it should, there it goes, went to standby because I got it set for that. And now, let's put a little bit of something on here. Oh, first we gotta give it some output. Okay, so that's on. Notice the um, input from the solar is off, so we're gonna get nothing charging. All right, we'll turn on this transfer switch here. And then I'll actually got to come over here and switch off everything over to the solar. Ah, now we're pulling 3.2 amps. Looks like about 100 watts. Not much. I wish these screens would stay on. There's probably a way. At least to make them stay on longer. But let's see how we're sharing that. 0 0.6 amps, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and 0.5. Yeah, pretty evenly shared. That's good. Everything's. I'm happy so far. So, all right, let's uh, let's let this run for a while and see if there's any smoke. Okay, so I went ahead and turned on some stuff in the house. We're pulling about 1,400 watts now. 29 amps. We're at 52.4 volts. Only the first inverter is on, the second one is sleeping. You can kind of see that here, and that we're pulling 18.7 amps on the cable that's connected to inverter one. 
an inverter 2 cable is only pulling you know 11 10 11 so let's go turn on the second inverter for a sec just to see let's see inverter settings 70 percent there we go now they're both on still 29 amps but now it should be more evenly divided it has 14.7 and 14.7 hopefully you can see that Let's see what we got here these screens bugs me 4.7 4.7 4.8 4.8 4.7 4.7 ish yep all right man so far everything looks good we'll let this go overnight in the morning we'll turn on the solar and see if we get the charge see you in the morning all right no direct sun yet but it's coming up All right, so we're pulling about 600 watts in the house, 12 amps. Our solar's still turned off. We were at 60% last night. Now we're down to 40%. All right, so let's go ahead and flip on the solar input. All right, 30, 60, 90 watts maybe coming in. All right, so the sun is up. We got about 6,000 watts coming in. 100 amps going into the battery bank. Looks like we're up to 51, 52% already. Yep, so seems to be working really good. Uh, we'll have to check how the performance goes as we use it, but so right, far so it's good. noon. We got about six or 7,000 watts coming in. 82 amps going into the battery bank and we're 82 percent charged so that's great now normally around this time of day uh, this lead acid bank would already be topped off so we'd be wasting power but now since we got this guy we'll probably put another 10 kilowatt hours or so in here and then we can use that power tonight so We'll see how it goes in performance, but that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.